All new at 11, the reactions to the story we're about to share with you range from one end of the spectrum to the other. We're hearing everything from I've never heard of it to disgusting to life-saving. Only on 6, RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer introduces us to the breast milk banking happening right here in central Indiana and how it's saving lives. This little doll is thriving now, but this was Remy when she was born, premature at 25 weeks. She was born at one pound, seven ounce. It's almost kind of like desperation. It's like, you know, I mean, what can I do to make her better? And Erica Whitmore's body wasn't ready to produce milk yet. Nurses gave her an option she'd never thought of, giving Remy donated breast milk. No, I had no idea. Uh, I didn't even know anything like that existed. And I was like, well, where's this milk coming from? Is it safe? Is it clean? And that milk came from here. Indiana Mother's Milk Bank, since opening in 2005, has supplied 50 hospitals across the Midwest with donated breast milk. Hospitals that order from us are using the milk in their NICUs. So they are supporting um, and they are providing life-saving nutrient to critically ill and fragile newborns. Moms are thoroughly screened and given blood tests. And after the milk is thawed and pasteurized to kill any bacteria, it's tested to make sure it's sterile before being refrozen and shipped. <laughs> Privacy rules keep donors anonymous, and each batch is a blend from two to five mothers to optimize nutritional value. Demand is up. But since moms can only donate for one year, the milk bank is always in search of new donors. Our milk supply is never totally stable, so it could change um, in a matter of a week. We could have full freezers one week and completely empty freezers the next. Erica credits the donated breast milk for Remy's growth. After being in the NICU for 105 days, she's now strong and hasn't been sick at all. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, because she needed the, what, what the milk had. Formula can't give her that. And I think that we would have run into a lot of issues and she would have been there longer had it not been for the breast milk. Erica, who's now producing more milk than Remy can use, plans to become a donor herself and return the favor for another newborn and new mom in need. That's my goal, to get 100 ounces and then donate and then I, I will feel, I guess, complete, like I, I can give back. It just feels good because I know as a mother like how that feels. For your baby to be supplied for when you can't supply it's really kind of undescribable because when you're pumping you're pumping for your own child you're pumping for the well-being of your own child and when you know that that love that you put in that bottle is going to be passed to the next baby it's indescribable frozen breast milk is good for 6 to 12 months now you have to have a minimum of 100 ounces to donate erica got milk for remy at no cost for up to 32 weeks after that it would have cost her about 450 an ounce as for finding milk donors on your own a lot of women do it from websites like ebay craigslist and on facebook but a new study shows that 75 percent of milk purchased on one popular site contained high amounts of bacteria and including salmonella that can make your baby sick. So you really have to be careful about human milk sharing outside of the milk banks. Tanya Spencer, RTV6. And as you can imagine, the story is getting a lot of attention on our social media pages. Let us know what you think by joining the conversation on the RTV6 Twitter and Facebook pages. Mm.